Oh dear God. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwan. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. We have Quad One, our space hotel that is ready for launch. And this one, I really hope will work. Um, this is going to be a little questionable. I don't know if I have enough boost time in any of the stages. It's really slow in my test runs. But dear God, is it awesome. And I want to fly this over, over Gale. So... We're going to take a gander and see how well this thing works. I really hope it works. <laughs> Alright, so here's our aircraft in its completion, its complete view in totality. And I've, the complete view of our space hotel now. It's not as impressive as some of our builds, but it also has four counter spinning uh, habs on here, centrifuges that should allow stability and a great docking for any future aircraft as you can see here i did not include any of the small docking ports because i was going to build some additional habitats off of these that would include the smaller docking ports and a large one so this is just the core of the entire thing and i did not want to weigh down any of the infernal robotic parts more than i needed so the scary part is lifting this thing off on Gale. As you can see here, we are still on Gale in Galileo's planet pack. And uh, this is a beautiful island to start on, by the way. It's got a nice little haze hovering in this zone. So once you break through, it gives you a nice, beautiful view of everything. Look at that thing from a distance. It looks, looks ridiculous. But we're going to fly this up anyway. I tried to think of a better way to fly this up, but I couldn't think of one. So we're just going to use this method here, and hopefully our brute force technique will work. <clears throat> I have confidence in brute force. All right, let's go. Lift off is go. That's not a beautiful lift off, but it works. I'll take any lift off I can get. Alright, so we right now need to just keep this thing going in the direction we want it to go, which it has the tendency to pull a bit to the left, which is okay, but I don't want it to go in that direction, so I'm going to try to hold this as best I can to a normal liftoff, uh, try to keep my inclination nice and level as best I can for later missions. <laughs> Solid fuel is burning off quick so we need to get higher. <laughs> Some people would appreciate that in other states. I don't think you can do that in Virginia yet. Oh dear. Okay. Well, while that's going... Oh man, there's a lot of things going on right now. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we have a oh our stage is ready to go so let's burn those off nice little release absolutely beautiful all right love it all right so we're doing pretty good we're gonna we're gonna lose a little speed but we're gonna gain it back here there we go so yeah there's a lot of things going on right now it's the christmas season things are getting busy for me um <laughs> I, I I like to do a lot of things on this channel, and I'm trying to do a Christmas special as well, and I'm hoping I can do it this year. Um, I didn't like what I did last year, which was launching a very rough Christmas tree onto the moon, and I didn't enjoy that at all. It was, it was okay. It was okay, I suppose. But I wanted to do something a bit more special. I'm hoping to be able to drag in um, Great Dragon. And also pause so we can do uh, pause player so we can do a little Christmas thing for everybody to enjoy. It will be kind of fun, and I'm hoping it'll work. We will see what happens, but I do plan on doing a stream. Um, pause appears to be able to do a stream in this coming week, so it may be Tuesday, Wednesday. 
that uh, probably Wednesday we'll do a stream of Kerbal Space Program together if if everything holds true. <laughs> if our schedules continue to line up, then the fates will smile upon us and we shall be able to do this. I don't know if I have enough fuel for this stage. Oh, it's going to be down to the wire. We need to be a little higher. We need to be at 30. Come on. Okay, we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. All right. Engage RCS. And continue to do our turn. Okay. So far, so good. Now, it does dump us a little below our prograde, but we can make up for that pretty easily. I'm going to do a very aggressive turn, because this craft is very heavy, and try to extend my periapsis as quickly as possible. Oh, these heavy, for some reason the heavier crafts are easier for me to get into orbit than the smaller, the really light small ones. And once, <laughs> for some reason, it just happens that those really, really light ones are just more problematic. I always have trouble gauging where I need to be for, for my orbit. And these ginormous ones that you see me creating, they take almost no effort to get into orbit, <laughs> which is a little ridiculous. We're shooting for 75. I'm going to push it, of course, to 80 so I can make sure I have a nice stable orbit and plenty of time for everybody to dock up. If I, can, if I think I can eke out 100, then I will eke out 100. But I do have four of the nuke uh, engines on here. I don't know which one did I use. Okay, I used the nerve, the atomic rocket. Um, because on my last test run... Believe it or not, I uh, forgot that I had just liquid fuel for my funnel, and that ended up, that failed because, well, the booster I had on there needed oxidizer. That didn't work too well. So, that failed for me miserably. Alright, we're at 75. Can we, come on, we can do this. Give me 80. Give me fuel. Give me fire. <sighs> Alright, so let's now await our final circular circularization. <laughs> There's always some words that are really difficult for me to say. That is one of them. Circularization. Blah, blah. Alright, anyhow. Let us see what shall happen. I think I have more than enough fuel. If not, then I still have my uh, I still have my four nerves that should be able to get me into into place, nice and balanced, balanced. You can see a small makings of a hurricane over here. I can see a small spin. So I hope you guys are okay down there. All right, so once you get around 15, I'm going to initialize the rest of my burn and go. All right, here we go. Hopefully that's enough. Let me just redirect myself. Okay. I'm just trying to keep this as close as possible oh we got an easy orbit easy orbit very easy orbit and boosh we're gonna wait a little bit push it again to around 10 15 seconds and then do the last bit of our burn and that should be all we need this has been a really easy lift. <laughs> so we're not done yet because we still have to blow off all of our struts and then extend out our arms. And hopefully those arms will extend without any cracking effects. So that is my hope and prayer that that will be nice and easy.
Let's set ourselves to prograde. We are approaching 15, but I'm going to wait till 10. Um, because I don't think we need as much as I think we need. It's going to be a really quick burst. And go. Oh! <laughs> It definitely did not need all I thought we needed. So we have a nice stable orbit at 81, 83. Uh, let's go ahead. We can ditch these. And do a little burn to get ourselves away from that. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can we rotate ourselves? I don't know if we have enough power to rotate this monster. We do! Okay. Holy crap. That is glorious. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. That is glorious. Yes. Okay. So we need to now... Let me just turn this to stability assist. A little bit more. A little bit more. Let's rotate it just a bit more. So we're nice and flat. Come on. Okay. <sighs> we are stable. Okay. Right there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and extend out our servos. Our our uh, extendatrons, whatever they're called. What are they called? Extendatrons, I was right. Let's kick out our extendatrons and let's get our final view. Oh, wait. Blow those off. Whoa! I almost screwed up. There we go. Nice and stable ish. There we go. Okay. So we have our two maneuvers set. Oh dear God, oh dear God, oh dear God, what happened? Why <laughs> did this, wait, what? We were just okay. All right, let's try to pull all this back in. Maybe we can stabilize this all. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a thing. Let's go to where our maneuver. Maybe we can, um, there we go, kind of stabilize this. Ah, the, the cracking effects on the hotel are great. <laughs> All right, so we're headed towards our maneuver point one. That's a bit ridiculous. Where did all that movement come from? It was just stable. So where did all that come from is a fantastic question for us now. Okay, so what I might be able to do is extend these out. And I just thought of this. If we extend these out and then turn on our auto struts that should prevent it from moving anywhere. Just thought of that. And I think that should work, hopefully. We'll quick save, in case that doesn't work. And let's go to our next maneuver point, which we are seven minutes away from. All right, ready for our burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Six second burn. And these are only for minute maneuvers that I have added these on. So this is exactly what I was hoping to have these four nerves do, which is absolutely fantastic. And also, it, we did gain some stability by at, by telling our auto stress to kick in. So that did did work for us. That worked out perfectly. All right, so next maneuver in a few. Let's make sure all of our lights are on. I don't think we have many lights to turn on and off. No, we don't. <laughs> we do have a bit of an angle in our joints because uh, reasons. 
So maybe I can auto strut the heaviest. I want to make sure that these stay secure. <sighs> Even though, for the most part, it worked. <laughs> A little angle. Never hurt anyone. But that looks really awesome in the dark there. That looks really awesome in the dark. <laughs> Like a big carnival at night. All right, so let's head towards our next maneuver. Coming up to a final burn. We're gonna initialize a little early so we can kick out our apparatus ever so slightly. All right, four seconds. Three. Two. One, and go. We are good, hopefully. We're good-ish, mostly good. Turn off RCS. All right, so that gives us a mostly stable, <laughs> mostly stable. Oh, geez, okay, anyhow, we can actually turn it radial in so we can give everybody a nice view of everything. But there you go, that is our ginormous space hotel with four of the centrifuge habitats that all they counterspin to one another and should give us some good stabilization. We have a good amount of liquid fuel, four nerves to move us around, and four of the senior uh, docking ports. So that way we can, if we wanted, Connect more components to here, and let's look around here. Our Kerbals look really okay with this at the moment. So, yes, that actually worked out really well. So, we are set for our first station. Well, can't even call it a station. Our core component here is ready to rock. So, that probably could have gone a little better with some of the uh, parts still in orbit. That's the... That is the actual uh, detachable struts, but whatever, it works for me. <laughs> if you like what you see and hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think. That was an interesting lift because it took quite a bit of design to make that actually work. And I'm thrilled that it actually did work. And I didn't I didn't even try to use MechJeb. I have that on there right now just for uh, just to set other maneuvers in case I decide to take this thing outside of orbit of Gale. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like what you see, hit that like button, drop it in the comment. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you guys in the next video. For now, this is your boy, just one. I'm out. Peace. Freaker is big, man. <laughs>